Okay, now we're gonna go inside the castle. The first banana is not so bad. The second one is gonna be a train wreck. And that's basically how this is gonna go. <clears throat> so I'll do the, ins uh, the inside first, or the front door. In here we have a little... <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. In here we have a little mini game before I get that. I think I saw a banana balloon. And we got lanky sand metal. In here we have a blue tomato. Hey, Lanky, it's not much fun being stuck in this pokey igloo. So I've made up a game to pass the time. If I don't play soon, I'll die of boredom. How about it, buddy? Okay, sure. Okay, this is a ground pound minigame where you have to basically have more DK tiles than K rule tiles at the end of the game. Whenever you pound a K rule title, it'll turn into a DK tile, and whenever you pound a DK tile, it'll pound into a K rule tile. Very simple concept, just make sure you uh, pound them all in a nice order. I, there's really not much strategy involved in this game. Just pound whenever you see a K rule switch and you should be okay. And try to, you know, ground pound faster than your opponents. So you can actually win. It's about even right now. You, you go barely just faster than he does. Just barely. And he kind of gets, you know, kind of a head start on you, so... Just be careful of that. And I think I tied with him. Oh, okay. Apparently tying with him is okay, though. Oh, well, I'll take it. I either tied with him or I only beat him by one. I couldn't, I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, so the other banana of this castle is the evil one. You have to get inside the chimney before you play it though. So turn into a balloon and fly up here and then do the same thing. And I'm glad I'm doing this early in the recording, just in case I fail a bunch of times. It's the stupid scarab race again. Only this race is a lot harder. It's still the same basic premise. You have to beat this guy and collect 50 coins. And just in general, this slide is a lot more difficult, so... You're going to have a hard time with this. And yes, you do need the orangutan sprint if you want to even come close to beating this guy. Because if you don't, you're not going to win at all. He just goes way too fast. Now, generally, you want to get ahead of him at this point right here. I found uh, that might not be exactly true. I mean, I'm sure there's some other good vantage points you can use, but I don't know. I I don't know this game well enough, I have to say. And I keep losing coins, which is not good. Okay, now this might be the place where you want to overtake him because you get back on your feet right here. And when you're in a Rangistan sprint mode, you only go like a little bit faster than he does, so. Make sure you get close to him when you get to this point right here, and then definitely make him move. I was not going to make that jump, though, because he ran into me. So let's try this again. Oh god, I hate this so much. The rabbit race is still worse, but still this isn't much better. Hopefully I can only do this in two tries. I don't know if I can, though. Oh, I actually got ahead of him right there. I should have actually tried to keep that lead. 
That might have actually helped me in the long run if I did that. Again, though, I don't know. This whole game is kind of up for interpretation. Ah! Oh man, I can't get past them. I hate that. Okay, there we go. This might work. I don't know, though. He hit me right here last time. And he got ahead of me again. Which sucks. And right here, he kind of goes the opposite way where the coins are, so you can kind of use that to speed up a little bit. And the game just froze on me. Okay, um... Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back from that unfortunate game freezing. I can't really say if I was gonna win that attempt or not. But, you know, it was an attempt and it was working, so... Oh, wait, no, I wouldn't have won because I was about to fall off the platform, so... And never mind about that. I guess that was going to be a failure, failure no matter what. Still, though, that sucks that that has, has to happen like that. Because I had to, you know, actually, you know, reset the system and then go back into Crystal Caves again, which was... kind of tedious. And for some reason, I got ahead of him right there. Don't really know how that works. Oh well. Let's just see if I can beat him right here. Slow down just a little bit so I don't hit him on the slide. And stick close to him right here. And then yes, okay, alright. It's actually really good. I have kind of a lead on him right now. And, uh, crap, get away from me! Dang it! I shouldn't have jumped at that one platform. I should have actually stayed closer to the center. Okay, let's try this again. I kind of have an idea of what I'm supposed to do here, though. Kind of stick behind him before you can make a big move in front of him, and then, you know, take him out from there. I wouldn't say it's a flawless strategy, but it's kind of helped me in these last two attempts. You know, before my game freezed. Okay. Stick close to him right here. Slow down, and then these coins, jump over them, and then get past them. Oh, come on. I could have got past them right there, but oh well. Okay, I got past them right there. That works. Although, I don't know. He's too close to me right now. Okay, yeah, he's gonna... Okay, no, he's not gonna hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me, Mr. Scarab. I don't want you to hit me. Okay. Stick close to him right here, so you can go this way, grab the coins... Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, I should have jumped right there, actually. Okay. We're getting close to the end, though. No! Aw, oh, come on! I hit him and lost control at the very end. That was literally the end of the race right there. I don't know if I would have had enough coins, but... You know, I was at least close enough. I think the challenge for this uh, race is more so getting to the end than it is um, actually, you know, getting ahead of the Scarab. The Scarab really isn't that hard to pass, if you couldn't tell from my last few attempts. I've been able to, you know, generally get ahead of them at some points during the race. And of course, getting the coins is actually kind of difficult too and keeping those coins, since you might run into the Scarab a few times. Mm 
Okay, there we go. Get the hell away from me. I don't want to talk to you. You know, it'd be funny if the scarab just, you know, fell off the slide due to a glitch. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually ever happened to someone. I doubt it has, but, you know, it's always funny to think about these random occurrences. Okay, here we are. We're at the final leg of the race. Okay... Oh my god, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Come on! Yeah! Yeah, touch the finish line! Okay, there we go. Sorry if I sounded kinda crazy at the end there. Okay, there we go. Finally. That didn't really take that long. Especially since, you know, I have to cut out me turning off my game and then turn it back on, but... Still, though, that takes... A lot of time away if you can't beat it the first time, which you hardly ever will beat it the first time. Okay, what am I gonna do next? Um, well, first off, I should probably head back to uh, Funky because uh, there's actually an area I opened up with Chunky just a little bit ago, so I should probably check that out before I go any farther this way. And yeah, I'll probably do that now, actually. Wait, is this the right way? I can't tell. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. Wait, no, this is where Candy is. Okay, hooray for getting lost, because that's just what I'm doing. And this pool of water is almost too small for Chunky. Because when you dive down, you immediately resurface. Okay. Oh, wait, no, this is where the... Okay, I need to go back to Cranky, not where... To... Okay, I, I am seriously lost right now. Crystal Caves will do that to you, though. As I've said before, this isn't the very most... This isn't the most straightforward of levels. You will generally get lost easily. And... Oh, wait, no, Funky's right here. Cranky's... Okay, Cranky... Wait, no. I don't know where I'm going. I seriously don't. Okay, no, I do have to go this way. Okay. Because I know by uh, Funky, there's the uh, tiny barrel. I definitely need to go where Cranky is. I believe he's just over here. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way now. Thank God. Okay, up here's where I need to be. Okay, here is the... D-A-M-N. Okay, so we're back. Apparently when I turned off the game, it reset that one rock, that forcing me to hit that one switch again. So, that is what happened right there. Okay, so grab the hunky chunky barrel. And now what we have to do here is we have to place this rock on the middle of this switch. The switch does move around, so it can be kind of difficult. But when you do that, you break open that igloo which will give you another golden banana. And I will get that a little bit later, so... Okay, yeah, we're done with that for right now. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Diddy Kong. Because I need his rocket barrel skills once again. And... So, which way do I go? Wait, what the... Okay, um, we have a little bit of a glitch right here. The stalactite from uh, the guy who was hitting the stalactites down got glitched and it's not going away. That's kind of weird. Okay, that's weird. 
Okay then, um, let's go over here now. 